Okay, hello guys, today I will show you how to change the control center in MIUI 13. So many uh, of you updated to MIUI 13 already. I have Mi 10T Pro with MIUI 13 uh, 05. It's based on Chinese table, but it's localized version actually from Xiaomi Yahoo. So basically when I updated my MIUI 13, I found out that my control center is still the same, it's still the old one. So basically they only added the playback control of music or some other like media sources but at the same time it's not changed as it should be in MIUI 13 as I showed on previews and pictures. So right now I will show you how to update the system UI plugin for MIUI 13 and make it work. For your, uh, for your information, this cannot be safe for your phone, so I just recommend to do it if you have MIUI 13 uh, by Xiaomi U or Chinese version. I don't recommend you to do it on global version, I don't think it will work. There is a chance that it will not work, so you can try on your own risk, let's say. Okay, so basically, I already pre-downloaded the newest version of uh, this uh, U UI plugin and I will install it right now. I think you can find the link below under this video on Google Drive or some other uh, cloud platform where you can download it and install by yourself. So basically I'm going to files. I have here already this version uh, system UI. I allow to install it so uh, it has a version of 13.01.69 and my version by default is 13.01.32 uh, basically on 32 version it it's still old one on 69 the new version it's called system UI plug in and just click install and let's see how we will change our control center all right so it's installed okay then I will just go back to MIUI 13 logo and scroll down. All right, so now you see the newest version of uh, control center from MIUI 13 and it works perfectly. So here we have brightness level, which you can control. Here we have sound level. Also, you can control for any app uh, that is using right now your volume. Uh, in addition, you still have here Wi-Fi and uh, your 4G connection, so I will not connect it right now. Bluetooth switch here, before it was over there, now it's here. Also, you can connect uh, your devices by clicking here. In addition, what's missing here from glo on global version is not available, but for Chinese or localized version it's available. Actually, now it's not showing the it's not showing amount of gigabytes or megabytes left in your package so that's really really bad and I don't really like this one that it was somewhere over here now disappeared maybe they will add it in the newest updates but for now that's how it is. Uh, if you scroll right uh, you can see it's a bit not fixed so here is still this dots it, I think it should move up a bit maybe I don't know or it's just a feature that Xiaomi created uh, but for now it looks like this so basically I don't know whether it looks good or bad it's up to you but that's how it is right now you have customization button here let's click on customize and you see what's available toggles here so that one all of them are regular one here I don't think they will add something additional maybe performance mode they added uh, what else ultra battery saving was here uh, that's from my apps uh, that's all from my apps actually like aliexpress search cast floating window yeah that was added from uh, MIUI 13 I think or 12.5 basically all the other settings are the same although we have here vibration dark mode reading mode screen recorded hotspot dnd mode uh, lock orientation, airplane mode, mute, battery saver, scanner, auto brightness, location, NFC, flashlight and Bluetooth. Uh, from my experience I'm using that one already for let's say uh, one week and it works fine. It has no any like significant disadvantages so basically it's working and if you have Xiaomi U, MIUI 13 and you want to have the same I recommend you and suggest you to install it but again do it on your own risk because it may broke your phone uh, basically it's very simple if you want to downgrade it again it's also not that difficult so just go to the settings 
uh, you go to apps uh, manage apps type here UI go to down so you have here a system UI plugin uninstall updates okay so that's it you have the old version the previous version so it's pretty much simple and that's it for today thank you very much for watching and see you next time with new guidance